We're here at Gasoline and Juice for an EV meet today, and we've got a nice selection of EVs, some usual suspects, and uh, yeah, looking forward to going through, talking about EV stuff, new mods they've done, and yeah, just having a, having a general EV chat. So let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? Let's go and have a chat to Ian to find out all the mods on his Tesla Model 3 long range. Let's get the speaker so uh, nice and close so we can hear it. <laughs> so we're in Ian's car and I thought it'd be Good to find out what it sounds like with the speaker exhaust system inside the Tesla. Um, now Ian says to me that it's probably the best mod he's done on his car. It does sound good, doesn't it? What do people think? Whack it in the comments. So yeah, it's looking fresh as ever, Ian. So yeah, take me through the mods. Take me through the mods on the car you've done. Yeah, so got the uh, covers for the calipers because it's a long range, not a performance. Um, the, this is the first time I've put my 18 inch wheels on. It's got 20s and they're pretty close then. Yeah. Yeah, pretty close, but they, they turn around okay, so that's all good. Um, the LED lights at the bottom, they, they're nice and bright. They look yeah. great. Yeah, so they're COB, COB lights. So they're yeah. uh, like one continuous strip, Yep. which is um, a little bit brighter, uh, probably at least 50% brighter than LED. Okay. Um, they're not designed for the wet, so no. I've had to silicone them. Yep. Uh, but to be honest, I've put waterproof LEDs on in the past and they failed within a few weeks. So ah. um, yeah, I, I don't think any of them are brilliant with water. And I love, I love the, the cars you've done. You've obviously got the, uh, on the bonnet, you've got, you've depillared it, which looks great. Yeah, uh, yeah. And the test, I like this. This looks good. Yeah, the so the, the um, I've actually got a friend, she's got a sign writing business and she, oh, cool. I design what I want and then she cuts it all for me and creates the look. Yeah. Um, and then I put it on. Yeah, I stick it all on. And I see you've got uh, some Maxton good goodies. You've got the rear diffuser where you've got, I love these LED lights that you put on. You get a lot of people mentioning uh, you know that they like that how, how did you do that on the uh, diffuser yeah that's so not standard, again they're cob um and i've run them right the way from underneath up to the to the start of the lip i did have them all the way to the top yeah. they were far too bright yeah um i'd have got pulled it looked like fog lights so yeah. i've just given them a little pinch at the top but it mainly lights under the car no that's looks good um and then wired it all in inside the actual diffuser tray which was a bit of a job that yeah um but yeah. Do you know what version Maxton uh, rear diffuser and side skirts and front split you've got? Because there's a few different versions. Isn't I there? think this might be the V3. Okay. It might be V2, but V3 is the, it's the later one. No, it's a lot, because some of them really stick out, which isn't really my cup of tea, but I like No, this. I don't really like, you know when they've got the little bit that sticks up at the end? Yeah. I had a car with them on before and they just collect dirt all the time and I found them hard to clean. So yeah, um, yeah I like the the straight line really. And you've tinted your uh, headlights as well? Yeah, yeah, done that. Um, really to stop them getting damaged with um, stones more than anything else. Yeah, yeah, they're um, expensive, And they are, they? these Teslas for other drivers, I do think sometimes the lights are a bit silly bright. Yeah. Um, and you still get plenty of light off of them. Um, so yeah. And so, the, so I was gonna say, uh, have you got any more plans for it? Because I know you, you've, uh, You've won a few Tesla competitions at the Supercharge event, which was a couple of years ago now. Yeah. Um, what, what other plans have you got for the for the car? Um, I'd like to do the power boost at some point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done that yet. That's my next well, you, little thing. You took out Rusty earlier. You were quite impressed, I think. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, it definitely makes a difference. And I couldn't afford the performance when I bought it. It was another 10 or another nine grand, I think. And it was enough money already as a new car. So. Yeah. This was about all I wanted to spend, but yeah, um, I think that boost is probably a good middle road yeah. um, thing. I'll pop the bonnet so you can see oh, the yes. old I do electronic love the, uh, the interior bits yeah. you've done. 
So this is the Thor uh, double speaker system. You can get a single speaker system as well. But yeah, I love this. This is quite plush. The, uh, then, the leatherette. And uh, then you can, uh, yeah, with a little bag in yeah, there. Yeah, little, yeah, <laughs> standard. Yeah, because you've got uh, auto opening uh, uh, bonnet, haven't you? Boot, yeah. Boot. Boot. And if Boot, you watch the front, last front. little tiny bit as it goes down, it, it shuts really nice and gently. Yes. There it goes. Cool. So yeah, other than the performance, are you thinking about upgrading the brakes as well? I'd like to change the pads. I think the pads could do with being a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, either, I think I might do that. But apart from that, I'm probably pretty much done, I think. Yeah, that's what they all say. I keep saying that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's great. It's great to see your car and it's, you know, you're, it's great to have you down here, Ian, because you're, you're a good laugh and uh, it's great to have you part of the EV uh, meet group and uh, yeah look forward to seeing you again at the next one thank you Tim all right mate nice one two Tesla Model Ys. We've got Aid here, he's gonna take us through the mods he's done on his way. It was at our uh, EV meet in uh, Leicestershire, but we didn't have time to kind of go through the mods. But Aid, tell me what you've actually done to your car, just because I love it, I think well, it's cool. thanks very much. Uh, first of all, obviously you can see the body kit that we put yeah. on it, that was one of the last things to do. So you got, uh, the got that done at a place paper. called uh, R44 Performance, which is um, down near Wembley. The guys uh, put it on for me. Yeah. Um, got a soft closed front. Okay. And also uh, the lighting from under here. Yeah. It's uh, all new. Nice soft closed front. Nice. Uh, different wheel trims. Yep. Carbon fibre door handles. Yep. Then on the inside, we've got different pedals, um, a movable movable screen. Yeah, the old tilt screen, nice. Yeah, old tilt and movable. Uh, oh, nice little screen there. Nice little display. Uh, obviously, Matt. That's mats. standard in the front there, the middle bit. Well, the oh, white one? No, 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 the, the Tesla. No, no, that's a different, uh, that's a little clip for uh, your drinks, obviously. I'll, uh, I'll turn the lighting on, so. Get a so you got a, a Alcantara top dash there? Yeah, absolutely. That's pretty cool. They'll work on the music as well, so. I know you, you love a bit of your jungle, like <laughs> with, me. With uh, like a bit of music. Yeah, for sure. Check in out yeah. Aid, there's his the... uh, Instagram handle. And uh, I love the rear light bar that you've got on this. And you've got the dynamic bottom Luke, Luke, uh, Luke, lights as well, yeah. as well as this uh, rather neat Maxton rear diffuser. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the newer electric cars and newer cars in general have the rear light bar. So is that on permanently when the tail lights are on? Yeah. Okay, it it cool. comes on as soon as, uh, as soon as your headlights come on. That looks really, really smart and looks great in red. Thanks very much. You got any? Uh, We've got the uh, oh, extra screen in the back. <laughs> oh, okay. All oh, right. Which uh, version is that? Do you know? I don't know. I bought it off a guy from eBay. That does look smart. Was it was it tricky to fit or not too no, bad? No, honestly, it's one of the easiest things I've ever had to fit in the car. Yeah. Probably took about 25 minutes, I would have thought. And you got the acceleration boost on this. This is a long range, right? That's it. It's yeah. a long range, uh, extra 0.5 of a second, that acceleration Every boost. Every little bit helps. Oh, I know works, that, uh, works for me. <laughs> Rusty uh, made quite a lot of difference there. And uh, you got any other plans for the car? Yeah, plans. Don't next plans is, uh, <laughs> next thing to do is put it on air. Oh, really? And, okay. then, and then we're going to get some new wheels. But yeah. we're going to put it on air first. What are you thinking wheel-wise? Well, I don't know. It's maybe silver. Okay. But I'm open to uh, people to show me what they think would look good on it. Okay. I reckon still really go sure. with the black wheels. But what, what, really? what size are you thinking? Well, once it's been put on air, we can go up to about 21. Wow. Okay. But yeah. until then, the ride will be a bit rough. But yeah, yeah. That's cause... why I'm waiting for the air ride before I put the wheels on. No. Cool. No, I look forward to seeing a, a few more meets. See, uh, see the progress. Yeah. Thanks That's very much. Good. Nice one. Cheers, Abe. Thanks, Tim. So this is the gasoline and juice venue. We decided to have the meet at today, and there's some really cool stuff in here. Some really random stuff as well. We've got classic mini, classic uh, motorbike, BSA motorbike, random engine there. 
There's sim racing over there as well. Just quite surprised that there was a Fiat, Fiat X, was it X1 No, no. I can't remember the code now, I'll put it at the bottom. Um, very much a EV uh, potential for conversion. Uh, there's an old school Beetle back here, classic. Another bike, a sort of half a bit of Mini. So yeah, some really cool stuff in here, some aeroplane stuff, they do good food, coffee. Uh, looking forward to a pizza that I've just ordered. Um, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a really cool place, a bit different from the usual uh, car places that we normally go to. Random plane, a few uh, petrol, uh, gasoline uh, filler going on there. That's cool, very, very cool. Yeah, just uh, chill out watching uh, some car racing. What do you reckon, lads? Any good? Yeah, pretty good. We don't know who's winning yet, though. We don't know who's winning, okay. We'll find out. Some really cool bonnet art. Look at this. Chops Beetle. So, yeah, I think we're going to be having some more EV meets here. This is in Weedon, Northamptonshire. Some sim racing here. It's just a cool place. There's quite a few of these popping up now. Smacked me round back of the head. There's plenty of space in the car park for cars, and there's been a nice mix of cars. And Caesar, the guy that runs the place, he was well up for having the EVs here because he just considers them cars like a lot of people. Just yeah, something a bit different. It looks like they might actually have some live music, judging by the uh, instruments going on here as well. And the car park, as you can see outside, is a decent size. I bet this gets around in the summer. So yeah, great place, gasoline and juice. So we've got Chris here, and he's going to tell us about his uh, Model Y. Now, Chris, you might have seen in a previous episode when we were at the uh, EV uh, meet, his i3 scoot off. I'll put a video of that now. And um, you, how long have you had this car for, Chris? It's not uh, long, is it? No, it's about May, I think, May this year. Yeah, and it was standard. Yeah. Can I just, uh, yeah. can I just uh, uh, mention that? And Gemini look, wheels. Look how uh, modified it is now. But uh, Chris, can you take us through what you've done to it? Basically, I've got uh, Model Y performance wheels on there. Yeah, that's smart uh, with the stickers. 9.5 square setup. They also, they're all front wheels. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. normally you have 10.5 inch at the back and 9.5 at the front. Yeah. Uh, Maxton front splitter, yep. Mayer side skirts, uh, bonnet is from CMST, and that's uh, carbon fibre. I did actually order double carbon fibre, but they didn't send it to me. Oh, so, yes, uh, I remember you mentioning that. Yeah. You've got the uh, uh, covers around the fogs as well. Another nice mod that I've done is this um, soft closed bonnet. Yeah. So when you just... Uh, nice. Yeah, I do like the, would you say CMST? Yes, yeah. Uh, oh, no, Marl, Marl uh, side skirts. Mayer, yeah. Yeah, Mayer. Mayer. Yeah, they, yeah. Do look, they do look good. And the white accents you put on them as well. Yeah, they did actually have black seats in it as well. I oh, did it? I changed all those to white seats. I do like the white seats. And they're, are they covers or? Just, they're only on the front I've got covers just to protect the white seats underneath. But yeah. The, but the uh, back ones. And you've got some, uh, the rather, this is a hand show uh, yes, display, that's right, isn't it? Yes, hand show, yep. Oh, and you've got the uh, rear camera for the oh, yes, rear view mirror the as well. Oh yes, that's mirror cam. Yeah, put that in. Uh, uh, it has got a front one, but I only just put the put the uh, rear one in. And the back seats are done as well, all original. Yeah, I do. I do love the white seats. Well, I don't think the missus is keen, although they are fairly durable from from what I understand. Yeah, yeah. There's, apparently, they're made of banana skins and bamboo. You want? <laughs> are they really? <laughs> And this was from AliExpress. This is an Adro design. So let, let's just explain to people okay. your spoiler obsession. Because uh, you've had, this is number... Four. Four. Yeah. Four. And he's only had the car since May. Let's yeah. just... Uh, he's, he's worse than me. Yeah, I couldn't um, find one I like, actually, but I've, I've finally found one I like. Um, rally armour mud flaps. Nice. And this rear diffuser, where's that from? I got it from AliExpress. It was £320 delivered right. from China. And it's very unusual. I've never seen one like that before. But I've put the white, um, I've just put the white trims on it myself. Yeah. But this is actually for a BMW 3 Series. Is it really? Yeah, I had to oh, modify okay. the brackets to fit the Tesla. I had to get the right angle, the curvature right, and everything yeah. was a right nightmare. But, um, it looks good. 
Yeah. And uh, you've, the... you've recently done another performance model on the car, haven't you? Yeah, I got the acceleration boost yesterday, which I'm still not sure about. Right. Um, Thinking got... about the refund potentially. Yeah, I've got till tomorrow, about nine o'clock tomorrow. But... <laughs> So um, you mentioned that you still got a few other bits to it uh, to do to it. What what are you thinking now? Um, not much really. Just um, I was thinking of getting a roof box, but I don't want to spoil the nice. Okay. Oh nice yeah, because you've got the bars on there as well. Yeah, these are actually original Tesla ones. Right. They're uh, very expensive. They're five hundred pounds from Tesla. Yeah. I actually got these on eBay, brand new in the box, uh, bargain price of two hundred and seventy pounds. Okay, that's pretty so, good. Uh, and there are bargains you can have on, on eBay as well. I wonder what that farting noise was. I thought it was one of the Teslas. Uh, <laughs> no, it looks really smart. Thanks. I'm, I'm more or less finished with it now. I don't think I don't want to do much more. The only thing I was I would have gone is a lift kit. Yes. And yeah. um, some people are getting the Model 3 uh, wheels, the, the standard range wheels. Yeah. 18 inch. And they're putting uh, big, massive, chunky tyres like... Um, off-road tyres yeah, and yeah. I do like that look because there's a few there's mountain pass performance to them I back to them I think unplugged performance to them that's right I think yeah because with the engine X that I fitted to mine you can put it in off-road mode as well that's right which is I supposed was, to give yeah. it some extra uh, yeah it's, it's well watch my last video because it's uh, the, the details on there but no it's looking good mate looking the only good. reason stopping me doing that is I don't think it would look good with the spoiler <laughs> well it's kind of sports with the body kit on it and it's yeah. you know it's that's the kind of thing you lower a car rather than raise it but sounds like you might change the spoiler again then chris no no <laughs> <laughs> cool and you got different mirrors as well yeah those mirror caps are from eb base uh, uh, okay yeah really nice they're real Shout carbon fiber yeah. base. really good good stuff they do yeah and no, um, cool well i look forward to seeing uh, what's next no, on the i don't think uh, there'll the be wire. much i don't think there'll be much. i say that but no i don't think so i think i've sort of more or less finished with it now ah that's what they will say <laughs> <laughs> spot on all right nice one mate. thanks tim so anyone thinking that the ev meet is just tesla we've got a couple of i3s here uh, at the meet which is great to see so yeah any ev meet that i'm uh promoting just Bring your EV down with your modified, whether it's an EV conversion, what have you, because ultimately we're just, you know, car people and we want to talk about each other's electric cars. It's great to see something a bit different. So it was a really good meet today at Gasoline and Juice. Caesar, the owner, he loves the fact that EVs are here and uh, I think we're probably going to have some more meets here. So anyone that wants to meet other EV enthusiasts, wants to, you know, learn a bit more or find out about how to modify or what the best parts are you should bring yourself down so please keep an eye out on facebook instagram and i'll try and promote it on the youtube channel as well and no doubt there'll be another video coming soon uh, whether it's on the remap of the tesla update on the electric tesla powered tvr or something else so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time